Hey YouTube, welcome back to Maya's Bug. In this episode, we're going to be installing these rear shocks. We're going to get all the different geometries set up for these. We're going to get shock angles. We're going to get axle angles. Uh, our Mendiola 2D uh, installation as far as just mocked up, but we're going to get our, our height location and our forward and aft positioning. Um, and then we're going to figure out how much travel we're going to get out of this rear end. So stay tuned. All right, so right away I'm seeing that I'm having clearance issues with this piece here. Um, the reason it's shaped like this is because I, I matched the cut to the shape of the inside of the body. So I will be cutting out this. I'm probably just gonna just go for it and just cut this whole section out. And since this is gonna be all reclosed in with carbon fiber or aluminum, then I, I don't really mind cutting this out. My fender is gonna be coming up real high up here, so uh, this I don't need any of this. I'm gonna take it out. All right, well, this section actually cut out really nice. It was nice, thin sheet metal. It was no problem. Up inside here, there's a whole bunch of foam, which is really nasty old stuff that's just crumbling. Made a complete mess down here. Uh, and then right here, there's a big thick bracket where the back seat would, the seat belts would go. So um, it's a little bit thicker right here and it's hard to get through, but um, right now I'm just at a rough cut stage. So now I can put my shocks in, see how much uh, clearance I need or if I'm good enough, and then I can start building my shock tower mounts. So let's go. All right, so I have this set up for six and a quarter inches of ground clearance. Um, that is gonna go down once I hit full bottom and this bump stop squishes out. Um, I'm probably gonna end up with four or five inches of ground clearance. Um, right now, I'm just mocking these up with bungee cords and stuff so I can kind of see what it's gonna, what the bracket's gonna look like. Um, but right now, I, the most important thing and the thing I'm shooting for is that this these shocks are 90 degrees to this pivot line. So from here, to there, I'm shooting for 90 degrees. And right now, I am not there. And it looks like I actually gotta bring these shocks up a little bit further. And in order to do that, I'm actually gonna have to probably cut this tube out, um, or I'm gonna have to deal with like 86 degrees or something like that, um, which I might do, I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna start, uh, probably build a template or build a mock-up in here, something that I can mount these hard and then drop this arm out and kind of see what happens. A few moments later. All right, so a couple things. I wanted to get these shocks at 90 degrees. Right now, I can't get it without uh, bringing this sh this bypass shock up into the zone of this bar. So uh, instead of cutting this bar, I'm gonna move these out uh, and then bring it up. And I'm actually okay with that because it's gonna be a good load transfer into this bar and then bring it right into the rest of the chassis. Another thing I wanted was, I wanted these shocks to be as far out as possible so that way uh, I have a better sway control without having a sway bar. You can see right now they do have some angle on them and that's okay. Right now the misalignment spacers, everything is still clearing and I'll have plenty of room for my bump to run through the rest of its cycle. But I will need to finish trimming out 
a section here because my triple bypass is hitting on the inner wall here on the body. So I'm gonna end up cutting all this out. I like doing it all on one side first so that way I know what I'm gonna have to do over here. I'm gonna get this side all rigged up and I'm gonna finish this side before I even move on to this other side. Here we go, the first group. Okay, well, I didn't check this before I started trying to get this thing to droop out all the way, but uh, my shock actually interferes right here. Um, I'm gonna have to clearance this out, and I think that's why it's not drooping out all the way. I should have another half inch to go. Um, but I'll clearance that out, make sure that I've got plenty of room. It's too bad that I scuffed these things up, but not a big deal. It's an off-road car. All right, so let's spit some numbers at you real quick. All right, so my shocks, these are FOA, two and a half inch diameter. Uh, the rear triple bypass is a 16 inch stroke. The coilover is 14 inch stroke. I am getting 17 inches of travel, two bump and full droop. I have five by five rear arms. Uh, they're made by Buggy Barn, uh, custom modified by me. My axle is definitely too short, but this thing is running at, at full droop. We're sitting at about 23 degrees. Um, this will get limited up. I don't wanna really push these CVs beyond 22 degrees-ish, um, but somewhere around there is plenty safe. 
My transmission set up on center line, it has dropped an inch and a half lower than the stock positioning and it is set at a five degree angle. So I have five degrees, uh, this transmission is tipped up. For the rear shocks, I definitely had to clearance all this in order to push my shocks as far out as possible. That's not a big deal because I'll be closing all this out with carbon fiber in the future. For the top shock mounts, I just created a template and then I cut out an eighth inch steel plate in order to get this thing mocked up so I can start swinging this rear suspension. Um, I am going to probably CAD this up and then make my own design, something that maybe like a statement piece. I'm not really sure. I kind of like this curved look, but we'll see. We'll see how it ends up. And uh, yeah, I'm probably going to definitely add another tube support here uh, to help distribute this load, in load into the chassis. And I'll be making a separate video on how to build all this. But overall, I'm very happy with it. 17 inches of travel is uh, pretty good. I can push it to 18, maybe 19 if I really wanted to. Uh, I think I'm okay with 17 inches. And I'm probably going to run it right there for uh, the initial first drives. So uh, let's see how it goes. I'll probably limit out the front because the front can actually pull 24 inches of travel. I'll limit that out to probably around 20. If you guys like this content, please like and subscribe and consider going and check out my website at mayasbugstore.com.